Hi guys, let me show you how to enjoy help from God. First, acknowledge God as your helper. Now, many people misconstrue this fact. They think human figures are, the, are their helpers only because they get help every single time they call on these human uh, personnel to help them. The truth is, if God does not permit those people to help you, or if God does not position those people to help you, you would never get help from them. It's why you'll be making a mistake to go to these human personnel first each time you run into a need. Each time you run into a need, the first person you should go to to present your need for help is God, not man. If you go to man first, chances are that you're not going to get that help. Go to God first and let God direct you to the man that he wants to use. Or better yet, just use, him, uh, use you to meet the need that you need that you that you that you need help for. Don't go to man first. Always go to God first. God is your refuge and your strength, your very present help in trouble. God should always be your refuge. No man has the capacity to be your refuge. Only God can. Only God can. So that when eventually the help is met, you will not channel the glory to man but to God. The second thing you must look out for to enjoy the help of God is that sometimes when you lose connection with people, human figures who usually help you, it might just be time for you to begin to engage your talents, your gifts, and even your anointing to sustain yourself. You see a picture in First Kings chapter 17, how that God told Elijah during the three years church to stay in Brook Cherry to get water, and then he sent ravens to feed him both day and night. And while this was going on, after a while we took and the brook dried up. And somebody here at this point will begin to worry that wow, the only person that used to help me, the only, the only brook that gives me water has, has now dried up. What do I do? We're told that God told Elijah to go to the, the widow to Zarifa to meet the widow. And then he has commanded the widow to sustain him. Note the words used with the radiance was feed, and the word used for the widow was sustain. Feed and sustain are two different things entirely. So while, feed, while, while the raven is fed him and he drank from the group, he didn't require much, he didn't have to engage his gift or his, even his talent or even his anointing to get food, right? When he got to the video of Zaripa, where he could have to gain sustenance from the woman. And so the way to gain sustenance is to engage something you have, to receive something you don't have. So he engages his anointing, multiply the food the woman had, and that food kept them for a while, at least for the time of the famine. Wow, wow, wow. I was told the story of a woman, I was told of the story of a woman who um, had, um, she lost her husband and she was left with three, three kids. And while this was going on, she suffered, she got help for about one, two years from people who were, who loved her. And then after a while, she began to feed from hand to mouth. And then one day she was told to um, engage her talent to produce results for her life. And then she was giving me $100 bill. She began by making pancakes with the $100 she was giving. And after a while, we learned that she began to expand to engage into other snacks. And then before you knew it, she began to run a conglomerate in that very nation, even to a point that the president of the nation began to seek business counsel from her. Just imagine that a woman who was nothing, had three children to cater for, became someone who was sought after by the president. Only because she understood how to, how to transition from someone who was receiving help to someone who you should now engage her skill, her talent to sustain herself. I hope you've been blessed by this. First, don't forget, acknowledge God as your helper. And number two, engage your talent, your gift to sustain yourself three times. I pray that God continues to enrich and bless you. We will meet again next time. Be blessed. Thank you.